Hi guys, this is Umed back with another video. This is actually a crash course or you can say a boot camp on Node.js. So I'll be creating a lot of videos talking about Node, its core features, its built-in as well as its third-party packages. And also I'll be talking about using Express.js, MongoDB and few other libraries of Node.js. And I'll be building small to large projects using these technologies. So before moving forward and talking about writing code in Node.js, let's have a basic introduction of what is Node and how to use it and what are the different things we can do with Node.js. So if you have been using JavaScript on front-end side for building front-end user interface, you can call Node as a JavaScript on back-end server side. So it is actually a single-threaded cross-platform event-driven non-blocking IO model which runs on the V8 engine and V8 engine is uh, built on C++. I'll be talking about all these uh, terminologies like single threaded cross cross platform event driven what is non blocking io model in detail in the coming videos with the examples so node.js is used to build fast and scalable application whether you are building chat application you are building rest apis you are uh, building a lot of high level network applications then you can choose node so the benefit of using node if you know javascript that you can use uh, it both on the front and actually it's a JavaScript so JavaScript if you know JavaScript it's easy for you to learn because you know the syntax of JavaScript so it's one big advantage that you would write one utility code in JavaScript on for one application let's say if you write a code of sorting an array or a complex algorithm for data manipulation you can use the same uh, syntax of code written in JavaScript on both front-end as well as on back-end as well. So there are a lot of big companies like Uber, eBay, Netflix, they are already using Node on production. So there are a lot of built-in packages in Node and there are a lot of third packages in Node. I'll be talking about in detail what are these packages, uh, what are the built-in packages as well as the third-party packages that we can use through Node Package Manager and I'll let you know that how you can use this. Uh, Node Package Manager, again, uh, it's the library of thousands of third-party packages. Those are built by either Node developers or you can also build node library or the package or the framework uh, and deploy it to the node package manager by creating an account and uh, other people can use it right so it's uh, it's actually open source it's actually let you develop uh, different packages for node uh, node is actually used to build full-fledged apis that you can connect with the database you can connect it with any kind of database whether it's nosql mongodb or SQL database like Postgres. So it is used to create a full-fledged APIs on the backend side and you can also create the REST APIs using it. Node is also used to uh, do data streaming just like uh, you want to pass the data from the server in chunks just like YouTube when you run the YouTube it doesn't wait for whole video to be downloaded for, for uh, from internet instead it uh, returns the chunks of the videos uh, from the server and you can keep on watching the videos uh, again as I've told you before you can use node for building real-time chat applications using socket IO library and uh, network applications you can also build the server-side web applications using node uh, it means that uh, you can render uh, all the UI directly from the node and you don't need to write uh, front-end UI code in other frameworks. It doesn't mean that uh, it is uh, quite uh, recommended but if you want to uh, run UI or load all kinds of templates there are a lot of uh, templating engines like EJS this is what I use. Uh, you can use these kinds of templating engines to uh, trigger UI directly from node uh, or its frameworks like Express or the Keystone. These were the main features of the node that uh, you can uh, uh, choose or you can do with the node and I'll be talking all these things in details along with building small to large applications. So let's move forward and know that how we can set up node 
uh, in our local system what are the different tools and packages that we need to install in our system in order to write code in node.js so first of all what you need to do you need to go to node.js.org a website and you can download the recommended for most user uh, link and here you can download the node uh, version uh, either you are using Mac, Windows or Linux it will download the respective uh, package for you and you can install it in your system I've already done it so I'm cancelling this download and along with that in order to write code in a node uh, you can use this uh, most popular code editor these days which is VS Code built by Microsoft and maintained by Microsoft so it has a lot of built-in uh, plugins that you can use it helps you uh, a lot in writing code and it supports a lot of languages out there all the latest languages it is lightweight it is um, it, it, it doesn't uh, take time to open the VS Code in your system and it also works well in the uh, system having the low CPU or, or the memory so you can install download and install in your local system and uh, before moving forward to VS Code and installing Node.js this is the NPM where you can create your own NPM package and uh, if I search for the most popular uh, package of the Node.js which is Express and you can see that there are these much packages already available on this Node Package Manager and um, I let you know through terminal that how you can use Node Package Manager in order to install all the third party packages to be used in your Node code so once you install node.js in your system and install vs code in your system currently i have opened up the vs code in my mac and uh, once i open it you will you might see this screen or another screen of getting started and instruction that how you can use vs code what you first need to do is open up any folder like file open folder and uh, you need to open up a particular folder where you want to create your first project in right i've already opened node crash course folder and here i'll be creating a lot of different folders uh, for each tutorial right so let me first create a new folder here and i'm going to talk about zero introduction right this is the folder i have created and here i can create a new file index.js right and this is the JavaScript file in node we can write code in JavaScript as I have mentioned before so uh, now uh, for now what we need to do is if we hover above on the Mac I can see here is a terminal I can click on the terminal so node.js uh, actually VS code gives us a built-in terminal which we can use to run the project or uh, do any kind of operations through terminal if you don't want to use this you can use a built-in terminal of your Windows Linux or Mac and VS Code actually give you uh, let you create more than one terminal as well by clicking on this plus icon so you can see that here you we have the two terminal let me delete the second one again so for now we only need the one terminal if we just uh, close this terminal and hover right below and uh, click and drag up and it will show you the terminal right so now let me first check if the node actually installed successfully in my system or not so i'm going to write node hyphen hyphen version and here i can see that i have this latest version of node.js already installed in my system and along with installing node it will by default install npm as well right so npm version so let me verify it so this is the version that was installed with this latest node version right we can uh, facilitate the different versions of node at once in our system if we want if you have more than like one project or 10 projects and each project uh, is built on different versions of node then we obviously we would need different versions of node i'll let you know there is something called node version manager nbm i'll let you know later on that how you can use nbm in order to manage multiple node versions in one system that you can use so node version is verified npm is verified and we can actually test the node directly in the terminal as well so if i wrote node and hit enter you can see that uh, it has started something so just like javascript i can write a is equals to 2 b is equals to 3 a plus b is equals to 5 so this is the javascript i'm writing so you can see that it's uh, uh, like uh, underscore 
plus a three. So underscore actually gives you the last value which was printed in the terminal. So it's good. So now you, I will uh, just press Control D. So this node, uh, uh, this uh, package uh, will end, and I will have this uh, path to my node crash course uh, folder. So now come back to the next uh, index.js file. Here I can start writing the JavaScript code just like node. Uh, so let's say that uh, const a is equals to 2, const b is equals to 3, and const c is equals to a plus b. And now I want to print just like I used to print uh, on the browser using JavaScript. I can print uh, using the console.log c and uh, I will save this file. And now in order to run this file without opening up the, the browser, I can use node and the name of that file. So you can see, um, actually I'm not in that particular folder. I need to navigate to uh, zero dot introduction. Now if I run node index.js, you can see that it has printed five, right? So this is our node installed and this is the node code which is running on the on our local system in the terminal and not on the browser so guys that was pretty much it for this video introduction to node.js 2023 i'm using the latest version of node.js i'll be covering a lot of different topics and if you want to learn node.js for building small to large application whether it's networking applications or building the rest apis using different frameworks of node.js and also managing the database using mongodb which i'll be covering in this crash course or the bootcamp 2023 if you like my video and want me to create a uh, videos with full dedication i would request you guys to please subscribe my channel it's a new channel and it will encourage me to create more videos thank you so much for watching